this tutorial, we're looking at how to use the Quest Game Object component, which allows you to hide and reveal any object in your scene for specific steps during your quest. In this case, I have a large corner pipe, which one of my non-player characters is stuck inside. During the course of the quest, I'm going to have the player blow up the pipe to rescue the non-player character. That means that at some point the pipe is going to disappear. In order to manage that process, I'm going to child the pipe to a new empty game object. I create an empty game object in the scene by right-clicking in the hierarchy and choosing empty game object. I add the quest game object component to my new empty game object and I drag my corner pipe to be a child of my new item. Then in the quest game object component I add the ID of my quest copying and pasting it from the quest designer. Then in the steps enabled field, I'm going to add a number that corresponds with the number of steps during which I want this item to be visible. I have a script for my quest which suggests that my reveal, the point at which I'm blowing up this pipe, occurs at step 18. So I'm going to create enough steps here to make the item visible until that point. Of course, I can adjust it if I find that uh, I'm adding additional steps as I build the script. When I enter the number, you can see a number of slots appears corresponding with the size that I've defined. And in here, I'm going to add the number ID for each quest step in my quest. You can see when you open the canvas that next to the name of each quest step, there is a number in brackets. That's the number I'm going to add in each of my available slots on the quest game object component. In this case, I also want the pipe to be visible hiding the NPC before the quest starts. And in that case, I'm going to set my first slot here to minus one. Then I go from zero through to 16. I may have to increase or decrease the size here. I can set it to 20 or 16. If I set it to more, you'll see it duplicates the last number in the list, but I can manually enter the ID for additional steps as and when I get there. Now, when the player plays through the quest, this object will be visible for each of these steps. And as soon as I get to the step where I blow it up, then it will become invisible and the non-player character will be revealed. It's worth noting that this quest game object component can also be used to reveal canvas elements so you can bring screen space canvas buttons up during specific steps in a quest and it can also be used to enable objects that contain scripts so you can have scripted events taking place launched in synchronization with specific steps in your quest. In the next tutorial, I'll be looking at the collection step, which requires users to find and click on a specific object in the region.